Everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mentioned earlier, my name is Jim Macedo. I'm a captain with the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office. I'm going to be providing you with a brief uh, press uh, briefing today, and I'm going to take about five questions, and that's all. Uh, the reason I'm only taking about five questions is the investigation is still very active, and I need to leave myself uh, to go back to uh, the crime scene so I can get brief on, uh, on some recent uh, events. Uh, however, none of them are, uh, are, are very, uh, they're not earth shattering or, or big news. Uh, the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office continued to search overnight and this morning. Uh, we are continuing to receive reports and tips from the public. Last night, the Sheriff's Office set up a tip line. Uh, I want to uh, provide the public with that number again. That tip line number is uh, area code 209-754-6030. Uh, we are continuing to receive assistance from uh, numerous allied law enforcement agencies from the region. Uh, overnight, sheriff's detectives, the sheriff's CSI, and members of the California Department of Justice Bureau of Forensic Services uh, executed a search warrant at the home on Ripon Road. Uh, this is the home where the homicide occurred. Uh, they collected a substantial amount of evidence during that search. That search continued throughout the night, through this morning, and into the early afternoon. We did collect uh, some fingerprints during that search, and we also collected what we believe to be uh, DNA. Uh, those prints in that DNA will hopefully be processed uh, within the next week. Uh, at the same time, detectives were conducting follow-up interviews with witnesses and members of the family. Members of our search and rescue team were also assisting in, the, in an area search for evidence. Also at this same time, search teams comprised of uniform and plainclothes officers were conducting widespread searches and following up on progress, uh, tips and leads. At this point, there is no specific suspect. The Calaveras County Sheriff's Office has been in touch with a local school district. We have notified them about this murder and the circumstances surrounding the reports. The Calaveras County Sheriff's Office will have an increased visible presence at both the schools and the bus stops tomorrow on Monday uh, and at this point in time we're going to release the victim's name and age the victim in this case is Layla Fowler it's L-E-I-L-A she was a nine-year-old resident of Valley Springs uh, I did have some uh, limited communication with the family today and they have uh, when I asked them if there was anything they'd like me to pass on to the press and the public uh, they asked me uh, that basically tell anybody that has any information about this case to please call in and call in immediately. Uh, with that, I will take uh, about five questions. Captain, is the brother at all being a suspect? Is there... He is not a suspect at this time, but we are continuing to talk to him, uh, which would be normal because he was the last person with, uh, with the child. Is anyone in the family, the father, anyone at all a suspect? No, we have no suspect at this time. Do you have any person or persons of interest? We do not. Who are the yeah, parents yeah, at? Uh, the parents are, st are staying with uh, family, and uh, I don't think they went there. Oh, but where were they at when it happened? Uh, they were nearby at a, at a public event. And again, the 12-year-old the, the discovers his uh, sister slain? Uh, he, dis he discovered her with severe injuries. Uh, he did not know that she was, uh, if she was deceased at the time, and that was not determined uh, until she arrived at the hospital. Should there be any worry or concern of our kids going to school tomorrow? Uh, we're going to do our... Do on the loose? We're, we're going to do our best to, uh, to, to show a visible presence at the school, uh, and again, at the bus stops. Um, that's, uh, the, that's what our capabilities are at this point. Um, obviously, we'd like to have this case solved prior to tomorrow morning, uh, but with the amount of evidence, the number of tips and leads we're receiving, um, uh, we, uh, we have plans in place uh, so that if we're not able to solve this case, that we, uh, we're able to protect the kids and the schools to the best extent possible. How did she die? Uh, we're not disclosing that at this time because it's part of the investigation and we, uh, we do not want to release that. Will an active search continue tonight? Um, that is our plan at this time. Again, we're, we're still searching right now um, and that is our plan. Uh, that is, again, going to depend on follow-up interviews and the evidence collected from the city. Is, is that a house-to-house, -house, crawl space, attics, outbuildings? Y yes, it was last night and, and a lot of very tall grass and some ravines. Where and exactly is Four streets thing? closed off? I'm sorry. Um, we are searching the uh, the Rancho Calaveras area um, uh, near Hart Vixen, Ribbon, uh, Bartling. Uh, but so the search has expanded beyond that, and uh, we're following up on tips and leads. Um, we have received some tips and leads from outside of the county, um, and we've uh, requested other agencies to look into that. How many uh, law 
I don't have a total number of that. How many people do you have actually doing the search in the case? I don't have a total number. Do you guess? Dozens? Um, I, I could go get that, uh, provide that. Later. Jim, you got dogs out there? We, we've had dogs. We've had dogs uh, from the outset. We've had at least three dogs, and um, we uh, we had a dog there rather quickly. You said you're going to talk back with the witnesses before. Any other descriptions that may have a better idea of who this might person might be? Uh, the descriptions are still, there's there's some consistencies within the description and some inconsistencies. Was the suspect a resident of this county? Basically, we're dealing with three separate uh, descriptions. Uh, excuse me one second, Joe. And uh, there are some similarities to those. Uh, but right now, we're not releasing anymore because we don't, we don't want to lead anybody in the wrong direction. We, we don't know. And when you render photos, had injuries? Uh, we, we don't know that at this time. That's something that we're hoping to uh, be able to determine uh, in the coming days. I'm going to take one last question. What outside folks. counties are involved? Uh, we've received assistance from, and bear with me, the uh, City of Angels Camp Police Department, the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office, the Amador County Sheriff's Office, the Tuolumne County Sheriff's Office, the California Department of Justice, uh, the California Highway Patrol, um, and uh, we have been in contact with the FBI. Uh, but at this point, they are not uh, directly involved in the scene. Hey, Captain, finally, just you said you have different people who saw this person. Uh, do they know each other? Do they talk before they talk to you guys? Um, I'm not aware if they know one another. And um, as far as uh, uh, whether they talked before they spoke to us, uh, we don't believe so on at least one one incident or incidents. The best answer is eight. You all have said nine. What should we go with? I'm sorry. The best information I have is that she is nine years old, but. Okay. Um, Okay, um, I don't have a, a date or time for a next release. Uh, we will likely release a paper press release this afternoon or early this evening. Um, but as far as another press conference similar to this, that will likely not take place until tomorrow at an undetermined date and time. Uh, what's driving this is the progress that we are making or not making. And I don't want to call a press uh, conference for the sake of just calling a press conference. We'd like to be able to have something uh, of substance to report. Uh, but again, this is a very active investigation. It's going in different ways. Uh, so please bear with us, and uh, we'll try to provide you with timely, uh, timely and accurate information. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.